are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Wednesday, the 9th of December. I'm James Spann. Alabama's warm-up continues for the rest of the week. Some rain at times over the weekend, then colder next week. And getting some better clarity involving the events Sunday and Monday. So let's take a look at things. This is the current upper air look across the country this afternoon. We have a northwest flow aloft and again, a very dry air mass. Hardly any clouds across the entire southeast United States. And what a warm-up today. Many spots were below freezing this morning, but temperatures are in the 60s this afternoon at all reporting stations. Birmingham at 65. Off to the west, Jackson, Mississippi at 72. Shreveport at 76. And we could see some folks touching 70 around here by Friday. There's the watch warning map. Very quiet today across the country. Severe weather outlook. No severe storms through tonight. Maybe some thunder across the deserts of the southwest. Tomorrow, maybe some thunder for the western half of Texas. And on Friday, day three, a chance of thunderstorms over Texas and the Arklatex region, but no severe weather expected there. Rain for the next seven days, heavy rain for parts of the Pacific Northwest. In Alabama, the amounts over the next seven days, one half to one inch for the north, under one half inch for the south. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at three. You can see the trough in the southwest United States. And down below that for us, another beautiful day. Nothing but sunshine highs, mid to upper 60s. Really nice. This is Friday. We'll be close to 70. The sky partly to mostly sunny. Rain breaks out to the west. And this is Saturday. A surface low is near Chicago, under 1,000 millibars. Snow likely for places like Milwaukee and Grand Rapids. Uh, the trailing front will bring uh, some rain into the state. It will not rain all day Saturday. We'll have periods of rain. There could be some thunder. We don't expect any severe weather. There's just not that much surface-based instability to work with. And with a better dynamic forcing to the north, severe weather just should not be a problem. Now, this is Sunday, and again, the GFS is looking dry. I would not be shocked if we had some light rain late Sunday or Sunday night with the upper trough coming through, but amounts would be very light. And this is Monday, and that feature is on by. Monday would be dry and colder. In fact, the northern half of the state could be in the 40s on Monday. And let's look at the European. Well, look at there. Yesterday, it, it was advertising a snowstorm here, and today it's got nothing on the deterministic output, and I think that's the right solution. So, again, for the weekend, we're going to mention uh, rain at times Saturday, maybe some thunder, then a chance of some light rain late Sunday, Sunday night, maybe early Monday. And then the bulk of the day, Monday, dry and colder. This is Tuesday. We start the day below freezing, the high back in the 50s. And Wednesday, a week from today, the 16th, Troughing off to the west, we're still dry. Some rain over Louisiana. So let's go out to Friday the 18th. This is the end of next week, and this run of the GFS depicting a surface low that's near Mobile. And if that's the case, that'll just be a cool, rainy day with no severe weather worries. And again, this could change, but that's the way it looks now. And this is the following day, Saturday the 19th, that trough moving on to the east. The surface low is over the Carolinas, and the rain should be ending at that point. And again, we'll get better clarity as we get closer, of course, to this event. This is the European Ensemble. First off, this is the snow output for Birmingham. Remember, the European has 50 members from the ensemble. And in terms of that deal, uh, Sunday night, only four of the 50 show any chance of snowflakes. And that's the reason we kind of discount that idea. Uh, and this is the rain off the same model. The mean is about two to two and a half inches for the next 15 days. This is valid through Dece uh, Christmas Eve, December 24th. Some of the members do exceed four inches. Temperatures, look at all the 60s through Saturday. Then we turn colder. Highs only in the 40s Monday of next week and back in the 50s. And the CPC outlook, this is for December 17th through the 23rd. Very cold in Alaska, but the contiguous United States looking fairly mild. And we'll take it out a little farther here. This is the European, the weekly output, valid December 23rd through December 30th, including Christmas. And if this verifies, this is not good for those of you dreaming of a white Christmas over the eastern half of the country. It looks like it will be pretty cold back in the uh, western states, of course, if this 
verifies. And that's always a big if at this range. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.